What's up guys, Aaron J. Daigle here to talk about the first murderer of all time. The very first assassination that ever occurred, like straight murked them. Now when someone watches this video in a hundred years and hears me say that they murked them, they'll probably feel like we feel when we read Shakespeare in high school. But all jokes aside guys, I saw this in the Bible and it was so encouraging because it speaks to that feeling of guilt and shame whenever we mess up and we feel like we're trying to please God but we end up doing something wrong or we commit and make a promise promise to him but don't follow through and then we feel isolated and like we don't even really know how to reconnect with him. Understanding who the first murderer of all time ever was will help us to break down these feelings of guilt and reconnect in our walk with God. So let's get into it and talk about who was the first murderer ever. If you ask almost anyone they would tell you Cain that he killed his brother Abel they would be wrong. Because before Cain and Abel even existed, there was another murder that took place in the scriptures. You see, God put Adam and Eve in a garden and told them, do not eat fruit from this tree. They did anyways and immediately felt condemned. They were full of shame and felt separated from God, the same way you and I feel whenever we do something that we know God doesn't want us to do. And the last place we wanna be in this moment is right there in the presence of God, flowing and just talking about what we did and reconnecting and feeling like everything is great. No, we actually want to run from God. And that's what Adam and Eve did. They ran from him and went hide behind some bushes. Then they took some leaves from a fig tree and sewed them together and tried to cover up their bodies. In this same way, we try to cover up our mistakes as well. Maybe we try even harder, or maybe we punish ourselves, or maybe we disqualify ourselves in our own minds from ever doing something for God that we've always wanted to do. Just like Adam and Eve, we start trying to cover up our shame and cover up our mistake. Well, when Adam and Eve did that, God did two things. First, he went looking for them when they felt lost. As soon as they started hiding, God showed up and started calling. Hey Adam, where are you? I'd love for you to come out and talk with me. And when you and I mess up and feel condemned like that, God starts walking into our brokenness. He calls out to us. He reaches out to us. In fact, he may be reaching for you right now through this video, reminding you that he is still for you, that he loves you, and that he wants a restored relationship with you. And when he finds you, just like he found Adam, he'll do the second thing that he did. And that is cover up their mistakes, their past, their shame with a sacrifice. You see, when God found them behind those bushes with those fig trees sewed up around them, he did something extraordinary, something that had never been done before. Because Adam and Eve trying to cover up their own sins was not enough to erase their shame or erase their guilt. But God had an even better way. And in Genesis 3.21, it says that the Lord made clothing from animal skins for Adam and his wife. Now, how do you get the skin off of an animal and make a coat to wrap someone up with? You got it. God was the first murderer ever. Because of sin, there had to be a sacrifice. So instead of Adam and Eve trying to cover up their own mess, God sacrificed the animal and used the skin to cover it up for them, thus becoming the first murderer ever. But what does that even have to do with us? Well, just like Adam and Eve, we consistently mess up, make mistakes, and feel isolated from God. Maybe you did something before watching this video, or you haven't done something that you promised God you would commit to, and you feel disconnected from Him, maybe even halfway backslidden. Maybe you feel lukewarm, and you're not all the way in a relationship with God or connected in your local church the way you want it to be. If that's how you feel right now, then I want you to see that God provided a sacrifice from the beginning of time. You see, Revelation 13, 8 says, and all the people who belong to this world worship the beast. They are the ones whose names were not written in the book of life that belongs to the lamb who was slaughtered before the world was made. The lamb who was slaughtered before the world was made refers to the plan that God had all along before he even created Adam and Eve to send his one and only son to the cross to die in place of our sin. And then to use that blood to cover us that we, in spite of all our faults, mistakes, shame, and guilt, can stand before him without spot, without blemish, holy and acceptable in his sight. What God did for Adam and Eve with that animal is exactly what he did for you and me on the cross. He knew we would be sitting here right now trying to fix our own mistakes, cover it all up, figuring out how to process these guilty feelings and that we would always come up short. So he provided a better way and he nailed our shame to that cross 
took away our sins right there on Calvary, covered us with that blood, and gave us a fresh start in him. So that's who the first murderer of all time ever was. I hope that this concept has added value to your life. And another way I enjoy adding value is through the books I've published. They're linked in the description below so you can go to the website, check them out, and see what's available. And if you don't mind showing some love and liking the video if you haven't done so already, it helps so much with the channel. And feel free to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell to stay updated with all the new videos. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video together.